This review is of Nancy's Probiotic Oat Milk Passion Fruit Banana Non-Dairy Yogurt. It's got billions of live probiotics in every cup. And it's plant-based, dairy-free, uh, free of soy, gluten, and nuts, non-GMO, dairy-free, gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, keep refrigerated, it is kosher, so it's safe for Jews and Muslims. Um, what else? Uh, okay, so, kind of be, kind of hard to read, sorry. It's not my fault, they designed it this way, not me. They should have realized I'd be doing reviews. Okay, nutrition facts and ingredients. Really frustratingly long, okay. And um, it has acid, uh, acidophilus, rhamnosus, bifidobacterium, lactis. Um, okay, well, yeah. Anyways, and if you pull here, uh, well, that didn't work out very well. Okay. Then inside of the label is all this information about the cultures that they have. So I'm going to just show those to you so you will be fully educated and wowed. I'm really hoping I'm going to be wowed right now. Really hoping. It smells nice, I must admit. My hair is lovely. I worked today and I was sweating. Yes, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be stirred up or not, so I will stir it up just in case. Mm, I can smell the banana, which is saying a lot because my nose is perpetually partially clogged. Okay, so I can taste banana, I can taste something sour. Passion fruit, um, if you get it when it's ripe, it's not sour. It's very sweet. It's nice. Although it's weird because when you crack open the hull, it looks like a bunch of frog eggs or something inside, and you have to just suck it all up. <laughs> like that. Um, there is a fl I can't figure it out. I don't know if it's because of the oat milk. It's certainly not because of the passion fruit or banana. It's almost a floral taste. Maybe it's the fara bean protein. I don't really know. Tapioca? Coconut? No. I don't know. I really am not sure. There's something in here that has an odd taste. Um, well, just in case you're curious, that's the passion fruit right there, that purplish one. Honestly, it smells better than it tastes. Um, I might try a different flavor. I mean, the, it's it's a pretty, it looks lumpy, right? But it's, it's actually pretty smooth. I might try another flavor, but I would never buy this flavor again. It's just too weird. It doesn't taste like passion fruit and banana. That third flavor is just I don't know, maybe they chose deliberately to use underripe passion fruit. Oh, I think I've heard that there's a, another kind of passion fruit that's not quite as tasty as the one I had, or maybe it's just not as sweet or something, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I might try a different flavor, but never this one again. It's, it's odd. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.